these are the dumbest store robbers ever starting with the most hilarious one. On April 18th, 2023, a group of masked men armed with a machete stormed into a convenience store in Smethwick, West Midlands. These brazen thieves thought they had an easy target, but they were about to learn a valuable lesson. One employee, thinking on his feet, created a diversion, smashing wine bottles and startling the robbers. In a daring move, he then fled the store, slamming the door shut, trapping two of the would-be robbers inside. The trapped robber, desperate to escape, resorted to hacking at the glass door with his machete. But their escaped attempt was futile. In a last-ditch effort, the robbers squeezed through a tiny bathroom window, but their criminal master plan had been foiled. The police quickly apprehended one suspect, a 17-year-old, while the others remain at large. These dumb criminals now face serious consequences, including potential life imprisonment for armed robbery and additional charges for using a deadly weapon. This shopkeeper and his community proved that even in the face of danger, quick thinking and bravery can triumph. But not every robbery attempt ends this way. Like this next one, when a group of teenagers learn a hard lesson about messing with the wrong shopkeeper. On July 17, 2019, in Streetsboro, Ohio, four teenagers thought they pulled off the perfect heist at a Verizon store. Armed with a gun and a laundry basket, they burst into the store, faces covered, ready for their big score. They held the clerk at gunpoint, demanding access to the safe. But these weren't exactly criminal masterminds. They couldn't crack the safe and became increasingly frustrated. Little did they know, the clerk had already pressed a silent alarm. As the police arrived, the scene turned chaotic. The teens, realizing their plan had backfired, panicked and scrambled to escape. Two of the teens quickly surrendered. While the other two hid like scared children. One was found in a closet, pockets stuffed with stolen cash, and the other cowering under a desk. All over his stomach. Go back to the Okay. I'm out of cuffs. I'm out of cuffs. That's fine. All four were apprehended, facing charges of armed robbery and kidnapping. This teenage dream of easy money turned into a nightmare with serious consequences. These wannabe criminals learned the hard way that crime doesn't pay. But the next story proves that not all robbers are hardened criminals. Some are just plain ridiculous. On July 2nd, 2023, a would-be robber strolled into a nail first salon in Atlanta, Georgia, expecting an easy score. Give me all your money! It's got the money! Where's the money? But things didn't go quite as planned. Instead of panicking, the customer's employees simply ignored him. One woman even calmly put her hands out, only to have her phone snatched by the confused robber. Frustrated and defeated, the robber eventually left empty-handed, his criminal aspirations shattered by a group of unimpressed nail salon patrons. This hilarious robbery attempt is proof that crime doesn't always pay, especially when your victims are more interested in their nails than your threats. But our next case proves that not all failed robberies end in laughter. Sometimes they take a dark turn when your own partner turns against you. In China, two would-be thieves attempted a classic break-in move, a brick through the door. But their plan took a hilarious turn. As one thief wound up for a powerful throw, his partner positioned himself for his own brick-throwing masterpiece. However, instead of hitting the door, the first thief's brick connected with his partner's face. The remaining thief, probably regretting his career choice, was left to drag his unconscious accomplice away in a scene straight out of a slapstick comedy. This comedic crime duo reminds us that not all criminals are masterminds. But don't be fooled, not all failed robberies end in laughter. Our next story, taking place in Houston, Texas, shows just how wrong a heist can go when you mess with the wrong store owner. In Houston, Texas, a young man walked into a cell phone store, ready to rob it for the second time. But this time, he was in for a surprise. Store employee Karina Leon recognized him from a previous robbery and knew she had to act fast. Instead of handing over the cash, she and the owner hatched a daring plan. 
They pushed all the customers out and locked the robber inside. The robber panicked, realizing he was trapped. With no escape route, he pleaded for mercy and even offered an apology. But it was too late. The police arrived, arresting 22-year-old John Bell. He was later sentenced to five years in prison for aggravated robbery. Bell learned the hard way that crime doesn't pay, especially when your victim outsmarts you. But our next case takes the concept of dumb criminal to a whole new level. It was a typical day for Tommy, the owner of a small cell phone shop. But two unexpected customers quickly changed that. These two men, Samuel LeBeau and Travis Davis, weren't interested in phones. They were there to rob Tommy at gunpoint. But Tommy, thinking fast, seized a moment of distraction and slipped out the back door. The clueless robbers continued their heist, unaware that their victim had vanished. Their exit strategy, however, proved to be their downfall. They found themselves trapped inside the locked store. Their pleas for help turned to desperation as they resorted to smashing a window to escape. Their freedom was short-lived. The police swiftly apprehended the duo, who were later each sentenced to five years in prison for armed robbery. This robbery attempt was a lesson in karma for these two criminals. They underestimated their victim and paid the price. But sometimes, the dumbest criminals aren't the ones who make a daring escape, but the ones who keep coming back for more, like the infamous Gatorade Man of Houston. Meet the Gatorade Man. This guy has a serious addiction to Gatorade and an even bigger problem with stealing it, along with other snacks, from the same convenience store every week. The store clerks knew him well, even giving him a nickname. But one day, they decided to put an end to his weekly shopping spree. Trapped inside, he panicked, kicking, screaming, and even trying to bribe his way out with stolen goods. After five minutes of struggle, he managed to break through the plexiglass door and flee. But the store owner, Dennis Alloy, wasn't about to let this go. He tracked down the Gatorade man and offered him a surprising solution. A job, cleaning the store. The Gatorade man, whose real name remains a mystery, accepted the offer. Guys that work for me, they have some responsibility in the store and I, they feel terrible when things like this happen. And for a while, stayed away from the snacks. But old habits die hard. He returned for one last heist before disappearing for good. So after the conversation, I hadn't seen him for several weeks. One night, I got a phone call from an employee saying, hey, uh, he's back, and I'm like, no way. While he never faced legal consequences, the Gatorade man's actions could have landed him in jail for petty theft. 